Hey guys, it's Dane at Zim's Guitars and I have a Squire 51 and this thing is all rusty and just not in good condition. There is so much rust on these strings, I'm almost afraid to touch it. There, I see a lot of rust on some of these screws down here. The knobs don't turn. This thing might have been soaking in water or it was in the swamps of Florida. I don't know where this thing was at. But uh, my mission today and in this video is to try to get this thing, it does have strap locks, try to get this thing cleaned up, new strings on it, uh, to get the electronics working. Let's just make a good playable guitar out of this Squire 51. even be able to that this needs replaced yeah so the Squire 51's I'm pretty sure that Fender just re-released these and so because of that some of the older ones are making a resurgence and so um, on reverb you're seeing that they're 250 maybe 300 350 dollars and so if you could bring something back to life, that's what I enjoy doing. But holy crap, this is going to be a tough one. Everything here looks like it's going to need to be replaced. So this is the volume. And this is the um, three-way pickup selector wow this thing must have sat in water or something this is tough this is going to be a tough one for me okay uh, I'm just going to spray these down a little bit and see if see if I can get them to move Yeah, this is going to be a challenging repair, to say the least. But I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to pull these apart, and uh, I'll be right back with you. That's the worst condition I've ever seen one of these. There's nothing I can do but throw that away. That is our best bet for that. Okay, so obviously I can't save any of this. This is trash. So I'm going to order these parts and uh, today is Saturday. I have to order them on Monday. When I get the parts, I'll continue on. I have new ones that I'm going to put in here. Tap it 
on it to make sure it's still working. All right, today's strings I'm putting on this thing are a uh, Ernie Ball Primo Slinkies 9.5 through 44. So nine gauge strings are awesome. 10 gauge strings are awesome. How do you make that even better? 9.5s. Through 44. So if you wanna do a little drop D stuff, right? You know what, first I better adjust these saddles a little tiny bit. I'm gonna put a dab of some oil on those. 9.5s. What could be better? The 9.5s. 10s are awesome. 9s are awesome. You want just that little tiny bit of difference. This is string through the, the bridge right here. This is kind of tricky sometimes to get it to go up into the saddle, through the hole and in the saddle. Without that one, what I try to do is bend the string just a little tiny bit, and that usually will get it to go through there. This neck on this old thing is, is crazy looking. It looks like whoever had it before me put something on there to try to stain it. You can see the headstock's nice and clean looking. But as soon as you get down here on the fretboard, it looks like somebody put iced tea on it or something. So the truss rod seems loose, so I'm just going to snug it down. There you go, it's starting to get tight. Let me give it just one more little quarter turn. There we go. Okay guys, so I got it all strung up. And I spent a lot of time getting the fret ends nice and, and uh, smooth. And so uh, it's all playing nice and ready to go. I mean, it's a Squire 51. Is it a Strat? Is it a Tele? It's a Tele neck on a Strat body. And this one is a Squire from, um, let's see, IC05, International Court Factory, I believe, made in Indonesia from 2005. And so these guitars, um, you know, five years, when they were made and, uh, you know, pre-COVID and everything, these things were still $100, $150 guitars. But they are starting to kind of come up in value a little bit. I think Fender might have reissued them. So some of these things are fetching like, you know, $250 or $300 nowadays. Squire 51, it's an oldie but a goodie. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody have a great day. Go buy a guitar.